Shaitan Rajeem, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, inshallah, I will be giving you a little bit of brief lecture on Quran. Um, I think we distributed this outline. And this outline will just give you which surahs and which verses we are going to touch every week. And especially which verses. We have also given you some resources. So the handouts that we provided you, the link to those resources are over there. So if you want to pre-read before you come to the class, that will be beneficial for you. And if not, you just want to come and listen, that's also fine. <clears throat> so what I'm going to cover, uh, this is for your information, for your background. So you can keep it as a reference. Um, to learn more, but I will cover a little bit on these uh, verses. So Surah Fatiha, which I'm going to cover today, inshallah, is a surah that all Muslims are must um, memorize when they become newly new Muslims. And what we do, people who are already Muslims, they teach it to their children. It's a surah which has only seven verses. And um, all of us, um, there's a importance about this surah. So I will go through some of the names that the Prophet has mentioned. One of the names he mentioned about this surah is called the opening, Al-Fatiha. And the Prophet said that the opening of the book, the reason for of this is that it is the first chapter that one reads in the Quran. When one opens the Quran, so whenever you open the Quran from anywhere, you see the first chapter. That's the Surah Fatiha. Um, it's also called the mother of Quran, Ummul Quran. And why is that? The reason is that it has the verses, it has some meanings in it that all of the Quran is going to talk about that. So just one surah in seven verses has covered all the general message that the Quran needs to give to all the people, to all humans, to everyone. Either they have accepted the message, which are the Muslims, or they have not accepted the message. So that's why it's called Ummul Quran. And it, uh, the other Hadith where the Prophet said that this is the seven opt repeated verses, al sub al mathani, because its seven verses are read over and over again. Another way that these verses are repeated is through the repetition of general meanings throughout the Quran. So this shows the importance of this surah. And all of us uh, have memorized it, and we need to go through details through this surah if you want to understand the message of the Quran. Another hadith is very, uh, where the Prophet said, it is the glorious recital Al-Quran Al-Azim. The Prophet peace him, said that they are the seven opt re repeated verses and the glorious recital that I have been given. So we will understand why was it called the glorious recital why these verses are repeated seven times. In one of another hadith, the Prophet said that it is the chapter of praise, Surah Al-Hamd, because it begins by praising Allah. Praise be to Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. And one of, one of the last hadith I will share, where Allah said that I have split the prayer, Salah, into two parts. And here he is referring to Surah Fatiha. So he has split the whole surah, which is seven verses, into two parts. One is for me, and one is for my servant. My servant will have what he asks for. When the servant says, Praise be to Allah, the Lord of all the worlds, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, my servant has praised me. In response, Allah respond to that verse, my servant has praised me. When he says, 
the most gracious, most merciful, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Then Allah says, my servant has extolled me. And when he says, master of the day of judgment, Allah says, my servant has glorified me. Or my servant has deferred to me. And then again Allah says, when he says, you alone we worship, and from you alone we seek help. And inshallah we'll go through those verses where I'm referring to. This is, then Allah says, this is between me and my servant. So this verse, Allah has divided between him and his servant. And my servant will have what he asked for. So there's a plead that the servant is asking in that verse, you alone we worship, and from you alone we seek help. And Allah is saying, I'm going to give what he asked for. And when he says, guide us to the straight path, to the straight way, the way of those on whom you have bestowed your grace, not the way of those who earn your anger, nor of those who go astray, I say, this is for my servant. And my servant will have what he asks for. So this Surah Fatiha, the Prophet said, it's an opening. And what's the meaning of opening? To some, the meaning of opening is it's a door that opens for that person. And who opens that door? Allah opens the door for that person. So it is a door of hidayah. It's a door of guidance. It's a door of help. If a person is in dire need of help, so most of the uh, ulema, the scholars have said, repeat this verse when you are in need of help. So within that verse, which we will read, inshallah, there's a verse where, Allah, where the servant will be asking that to you alone we worship and to you alone we ask for help. So that's what the servant is asking. So if he's in dire need of help, of anything, this is the verse to read. Um, in one of the hadith, the Prophet said that this is a gift that Allah gave him. So this is a gift, this is a miracle, this is a gift that Allah extolled to the Prophet. So he's referring to these seven verses. All our prayers that the Muslims are obligated to perform daily, five prayers, they cannot complete without reading this surah. So it, it has utmost importance. That's one of the reason is in Muslim families, um, people who are born Muslims, they try to um, encourage their young ones to um, memorize this surah. And very early on, like I did and others, very early on we memorized this surah. First, one of the first surahs we memorized was this one. So let's go into detail a little bit and the more we will um, read this surah, the more it will absorb within us. I want you to um, understand and do a deep thought on this surah. And think of this surah as a, as a relationship, as a talk that you are talking to your, to your Lord, to your Creator, alone. This is something that you there's something, there's a relationship between you and Allah, the creator who created you. Um, the other thing I want you to bring thought into is humans are ignorant. All of us are ignorant. And it's Allah's mercy who sent these seven verses to his prophet. And through the prophet, we learn from him. Generation after generation after generation. After 14 centuries, it went it came to us. So it's a mercy that Allah is teaching us. And why is Allah teaching us this verse? There are about 114 surahs out there, but this is the one that he has made so much important and we read it more often than any other surahs. Why? Because there's a, there's a relationship that will be created using this surah. So if you read it in a way where you are talking you're conversing, you're uh, whispering, either silent or aloud, a relationship will be building. 